Uh, and so, yeah, Joker's always mad fun to watch. If you um, play dubs, Joker is a killer. Oh, my God. I haven't seen uh, doubles, actually, with Joker being involved yet. I haven't. I need to keep up with all the Momocon. I'm going to get to that. He's but. so messed up. Like, I, I'm shaking my head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, shaking, sure. I'm shaking my head because I've lost to people, like, in dubs that are, like, totally terrible. But they know how to edge guard because Arsene just does it for them. Yep. Um, but the thing about Joker in dubs is that if, you're a, if your teammate is getting worked, you're getting Arsene meter mm -hmm. for him getting bodied. Yeah. And it's also vice versa, because it's like, if he's getting bodied while you have Arsene out, then it starts to dwindle. A lot of people, too, when Arsene is out, they just kind of try and, like, wait it out and try to, like, just wait for the meter to go down. Angel platform Amazing. and all that. Pretty much. Ooh, okay, Lucy v. Lucy. Okay. Right. Fire Emblem Yeah, the, the floaty sorty. I like this one, though. Um... Yeah, but I, I don't know much about these players, so all I can really do is uh, base my bias based off of uh, who I like the most in terms of their, their I mean, footsies. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're going to pick up some things, see what their play style is like. Um, mm. But yeah, Lucina definitely has, you know, just that very vanilla-esque uh, play style to her. She doesn't really have anything super crazy, super special, but she's good, and we know that. And it's going to be interesting to see the duo starting off for our first set of the night on Pokemon Stadium. That's kind of what I like about Lucina. Or, like, just, ooh, yeah, ooh, totally okay. got that. Totally got hit by that. Uh, what I like about characters like Lucina is that sometimes simple is the most effective. Like, why, oh, go, yeah. why go K to Z when you just go A to B? Exactly. That's know. what I felt like Leo did for a really long time. He just perfected the simpler characters and then just, like, Literally, no one knew like he could, they could be that good. Like same thing with Ike, right? Mm -hmm. Fundamentals. Crazy. Learn the fundamentals, master them, and she's great. She's a great character. She's a lot of. Uh, oh man, that was a little. A little close. <laughs> <to comfort there. laughs> yeah, it was a little too close. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, but yeah, she's definitely fun, and yeah, it's always kind of nice to see the ditto because you kind of pick up a lot more things and you notice that like they're the difference in their play styles, which is really interesting to me. So I love personally watching Dittos, and yeah, she's it, awesome. It's all footsies, really. I mean, with this with this type of matchup, Ooh. which is funny because I don't... I, I thought I would see this matchup, like, all the time, mm -hmm. but I don't. Like, it's kind of surprising. I, I feel like uh, Lucina is such a polarizing character. People want to be different and stuff, but... Yeah, uh, speaking of difference, oh, uh, that, was, um, that was one hell of a difference in the stocks. Yeah, what? that was a three zero, I think, right? Yeah, that was a that was a pretty uh, pretty Did quick three zero. Did he SD twice? There, it kind of looked like he just. Uh, I know he missed that one tech. And he then missed the, the tech. Ones, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the thing too. It's like up B is so insanely stupid. I found out that up B is a five frame startup move. Like wow. Yeah. That's fast. Yeah, and like since the the nice thing about like out of shield punishing in this game is that up Bs and up smashes don't suffer that that um. 11 frame drop that you get when you shield. Mm -hmm. So you can, you get like a five frame, get off me. Like, uh, dude, like why? That's fast. And that also is really scary because it, like we just saw, it does force you into that teching situation, which is so easy to miss because sometimes you don't even expect them to up B and then it just literally throws you all out of whack, but it's okay. It's all right. That's all um, what people come out here for is to learn to adapt yep. um, and to learn from their mistakes. So even if it's a 3-0, he could definitely bring it back this game. Oh, yeah. And I'm definitely uh, looking forward to see uh, what he could do. Yeah. I also like the Tiki, uh, Type of, I like Tiki. Yeah, I, like I was noticing that's her color scheme, and I just thought of that. I don't know why I never thought of that before, but that's really c cute. Yeah, pink, pink and green are definitely two of my favorite colors. I there. like it. Yeah, All right, and you know, like what I saw from Clutch, that might have just been a, like a little hand warmer, you know, trying to make him feel good because he uh, he was actually doing some kind of neat stuff with the back air there, and that's the thing about Lucina. Lucina, I think the reason that Lucina is a little better than Marth is just because her her. Um, like the whole consistency thing comes into play, especially mm -hmm. when you base it off of like, ooh, yeah, forward smash, taking that out. But like, back air is always going to send you flying, mm -hmm. no matter what, and it's always going to just like stage spike you. It's it's really gross. This character's gross. <laughs> She's definitely really gross and very good. Uh, oh, okay, that was a nice parry coming out here from Negator. Um, ooh. hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. I think you are. I think you are. <laughs> All right, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay, so definitely just let him let him get back up on stage for free. I feel Ooh. like uh, it's very important for you to get these proper um, get up reads, or uh, for even Lucina, it's definitely good to go off stage and get um, an edge guard situation in because she's she still has a pretty solid up B and she can make it back and she is great off stage as well. Yeah, she is. The only the only downside is like, and this is this applies to man. Oh, Gator is just yeah. catching the. Where's the clutch come from? From uh, come on, clutch. 
It, it, like his name is supposed to, you know, identify what he does. <laughs> gotta clutch this out, clutch. You gotta clutch this out, clutch. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> there we go, taking that one. Okay, we're gonna see some clutch here from clutch. Um, but the, the thing about it is that when you are edge guarding, you really do have to decide whether or not you want to do ledge trapping as opposed mm. to the other because it's just like if I go off stage and I miss, I'm now completely getting the tables turned on me. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you act, you are giving up, um, you know, neutral holding up the stage and whatever too. But I feel like it's also good to like mix things up um, uh, as well. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay, so what I saw there was a lot of forward smashing, just not getting stopped. Yeah.